Hello, Loveland Magazine viewers, and happy holidays. So, what goes better with the holidays than food? And that's why I'm here today, Cassie the Food Guru, to introduce to you Dolph Himmelbauer. What is going on, man? <laughs> so, he lives here over at Loveland Station. I live here. I've known him for a very long time. And he has started his own business, Dolph's Dogs, as you can see behind us. A beautiful hot dog cart. Now, these aren't normal hot dogs. These are hot dogs, but elevated, okay? So, Dolph, tell me how you got, now obviously, we know I know how we got started, but we want the people to know. Right. Dolph, let me know how you got started. How did this hot dog idea come about? Well, honestly, uh, I was a patron many times at, the, uh, at Cindy's Friendly Tavern in the evenings as the uh, other restaurants are closing down. And, uh, you're out there having having a couple of beers and you get hungry and there's no place to eat and we started talking about hey how about hot dogs so did some research did a little bit of looking around and what it takes to, to start a cart found a found somebody that uh, was uh, kind enough to let me uh, use the cart for a little bit to get started and uh, and that's how it you know just kind of picked up from there Tell everybody where you're from, and uh, don't get mad, guys, because he might be a Michigan fan. So <laughs> tell him about where you're from. That might give you a clue. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was I was born in, in uh, Michigan and lived in a number of places around around the state of Michigan. Uh, then uh, moved to California, lived in Colorado, uh, back into Michigan, then into Ohio, a couple different places in Ohio, and uh, and then through sort of a happy accident, discovered Loveland and really fell in love with it. Been here for about five years now. And of all the places I've lived, this has been by far my favorite. Wonderful neighbors, great neighborhood. You've got all these places you can walk to, bike trail, kayaking, all right outside the, the door. So it's it's been phenomenal. And and he does have a daughter named Hannah, a beautiful person. And a daughter named Mackenzie. And Mackenzie, who, who I, I don't know her, but I met her once, yeah, and I yeah. at the coffee shop. Yep. So, I know Hannah, and I don't know about McKenzie, but I know Hannah was huge on pushing you to do this. Oh yeah. She yeah. wanted you to do this because, tell them kind of why you felt like you needed to start your own business because during COVID it was a little rough for everybody. Losing jobs, not knowing what you want to do, thought you were good to go because, I mean, you're older, you're thinking, oh, I'm retiring soon. Tell them what happened and kind of how Hannah pushed you to do this. Well, probably won't be retiring uh, until I die. But, you know, <laughs> That's the new <laughs> thing, right? <laughs> right, right. On my tombstone, it'll say all caught up. Uh, but uh, no, it's uh, did, yeah. I had a had a real good job prior to uh, the whole pandemic, and uh, and that went away. And you know, it was a bit of a. I took some time off just to spend with Anna while she was here, and we kayaked everywhere. You know, we had a great time. Right. But then you know, a little more difficult to get back into the the stream so uh, again you know we started talking about the hot dogs and, and actually her boyfriend's uh, best friend growing up his father was the one that had the, the cart okay uh, John Osborne yes so wonderful wonderful guy and, and uh, I gotta say I mean everybody has been so supportive uh, you know Cindy has been amazing to, to let me set up over at her place and, and uh, you know everybody on the, on the council Planning and Zoning uh, Commission, you know, all those, all the people have been really, really supportive and encouraging. And of course, you know, Hannah, uh, <laughs> it's been been really supportive and you know, helped push me to, you know, to do it, man. Right. Just do it. And the cool thing about this, guys, when he first started, there were people from our apartment working with you because you were a one-man show. They were helping you out. I mean, that right there attests to you. It says a lot about you, your personality. So let's just dig into it. Let's talk hot dogs, okay? Hot dogs. Let's talk hot dogs. I know. Tell me your product, what you're trying, what's been popular. Just tell me all about those dogs. That's what we want to know about. Well, so the first the first few times out, um, I, I would do a little taste test. Like if, if somebody was ordering two or more dogs, I would say, hey, are you willing to try couple different ones and tell me what you like better and most people were right so I, I tried all every different brand you can imagine that's that's out on the market and hands down for the for the sausages 
Queen City all the way, baby. They're, and the folks at Queen City have been phenomenal too. Local, so it's yeah. great, yeah. So I, I go down and, you know, buy direct after I get my license, my Correct. vendor license, and then I was able to do that. Right. Uh, but they've been super supportive, helped me with the Instagram thing and all that too. Uh, but then also, uh, a number of people have been asking for an all beef hot dog. That's not one you get from the city, so looking around, looking around, and settled on one for that. So, <laughs> and uh, so that's, you know, right now that's my that's my sweet spot right there, and everybody's been really, really happy with it. Of course, it, you know, you got the chili, you got the sauerkraut, you got, you know, a bunch of different toppings. So, uh, Oktoberfest, again, was, was insane. It was, it was wonderful. Uh, again, a lot of, a lot of support from, from everybody. Uh, Kirby. Yeah, yeah Kirby, Kirby's, yeah. He made my first batch of chili and, and donated that for Oktoberfest. And, uh, Rob and Joe, Rodi Italian, they, they made up the peppers and onions for me. Oh, beautiful. And that, and, you know, that smell just really drew everybody in. You were in a good spot too. It was a great spot. Yep. The placement was perfect, and I was a little bit away from a lot of the main stuff, but right. that gave me a little extra room to, to work. You know? Right, right. And man, I tell you, as soon as I popped the umbrella, I had a line 15 people deep, and I five hours of you know, yep. slinging yep. dogs, baby. Yep. yep. <laughs> Which was beautiful because you were by yourself for a while. Did anybody I'd ever end up helping you? I can't remember. Yes, yes. A, a neighbor of mine, Jeff, Jeff uh, was yeah. real, real kind, kind to come out and help me out. Right. And, uh, so that was especially helpful because I couldn't really leave my cart. So anytime I would be down on some supplies or whatever, right. Jeff was right on it. You know, so it was it was really nice. That's beautiful. Um, so Dolph. Tell them kind of where you set up. I know not everything's always set in stone, right? You do it kind of the week of, like weather depending, that kind of thing. It's a little weather dependent. Right, yeah. so <laughs> let people know though where you typically set up and what nights you're typically there, weather depending, just so sure. they can come out and, you know, if they're going to Cindy's, try to support you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, not, not too far behind us right here, Cindy's Friendly Tavern. Uh, there's a, uh, a rail outside where, you know, the, Corrals people in that, that area, yeah. and there's a wood wood burning thing out there, and so uh, I set up right outside that rail. Typically Friday, Saturday, sometimes Sunday nights, and again I kind of wait until some of the other restaurants are starting to close, say eight, nine, ten o'clock, you know, and I'll go till last call usually. Yeah. Uh, and like you said, it's weather dependent, so I layer up. The cold is no problem. No. But if it's sleep, snow, you know, right. sideways rain, it right. makes, you know, nobody wants a soggy dog. No, oh right? no, I like that, no <laughs> so, soggy doggies, no soggy you know, dogs, yeah. <laughs> right? So, and then you do the Eagles as well. Uh, I did the, did the Eagle Riders, their event, uh, I did a, uh, for the chamber, at the, uh, one of the neighborhoods had a pool party, end of year pool party, and the kids were amazing, they were, they were the most polite, wonderful kids you've ever seen, uh, did that, it was really fun, then, uh, Last week did a uh, grand opening for uh, Garden City Chiropractic. Yes, yes. yes. Super people. Just oh, yeah. fantastic folks. Um, and then, uh, let's see what else. I think I've got another one coming up for uh, uh, State Farm Insurance. Okay. Thing in, uh, is it 11? Okay, yeah, that's uh, Friday. Yeah. It's not this Friday, but next Friday. Well, that, that reminds me too. So, are people able to ask you to somewhat cater their events is that oh, a possibility absolutely. yeah so they reach out to so you have your sign right there so how do they go about doing that do you have pricing what's that like well i don't have the dolphsdogs.com uh website okay uh, set up yet i'm still working through some of that, that i gotta, time. gotta figure out how to post a calendar and I'm, right you know, that all is very new to me uh, but you can see my number yes no that's <laughs> so, your number <laughs> the number there number there yeah yeah you know, the numbers on everything so you can text or call uh, do have an email dolphsdogs at gmail.com right and so that's you know a lot of people have gotten in contact with me like that okay uh, Jackie Butler Jackie and yep. Butler uh, they do the, the folks at the uh, Garden City yep. chiropractic and that's how you know that's how I got connected with them. That's awesome. So it's a lot of it is word of mouth. Right. You know, a lot of it is, uh, you know, somebody comes up and has a delicious 
sausage or dog or something. Spread the word. And they go, hey, do you do, you know? Yeah, exactly. Sure, sure. So, so tell me this, uh, I have a couple more questions for you. Yeah. What, I, I would say, what is the most popular item you have right now? And is there any room for growth? Do you, are you having thoughts right now? Are you thinking about, okay, I want to launch this next or I want to do this next? What are your thoughts on that? Well, especially in the in the startup, uh, I keep a notebook. And anytime somebody asks for something that I don't have, I write it down. And then anytime somebody asks for the same thing, I put a slash, put a slash. So I tally, I get kind of a, a, a rough approximation of right. what people are really desiring. So right. in, the, in the earlier part of the year, well, where it was still kind of warm summery, a lot more just regular hot dogs. Okay. Right? As as it started getting cooler, people were saying, "Hey, sauerkraut, hey, chili." Right. You know? So I love the success. I love what you're doing. You're very community oriented. I know that, which fits in with Loveland's. Oh, how can you not be here? You know. Exactly. So, in the next five years. What do you hope to see with Dolph's dogs? I know you haven't all planned it all out, right? This is a lot right now. You didn't even think this was gonna, you know, shoot off like this. This is unreal. So, over the next five years, what are your plans, and where do you see Dolph's dogs? Well, I tell you what. Let's have another interview in the uh, in the spring. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, well, to, to be honest, I I would like to see how the winter goes. Right. Because this is my first time doing it. Right. Now, obviously, you know, from Michigan. I've got long johns and warm boots, and I'm right. scared. You know, right. I can, I can taste the Amen weather. To that. But you got to see how the how the rest of the crowd, you know, comes out and all that kind of stuff. Right. Right. So, but you know, there's there's I'm always open to the idea of, of expanding. You know, more carts, more carts, franchise. I I don't know. Yeah. You know, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to put the cart before the horse there. Amen so to, speak, to that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. And I get that. So you, you really, you're looking, <laughs> you're the horse. <laughs> you're just looking to see where it takes you, which is a great attitude because you're you're really making attainable goals, not astronomical goals, which I love. But I don't know if you guys noticed, but we have the Dolph's Dogs menu right behind, right there. So we'll take a little photo for you <laughs> later. That way you guys have that. We'll put it in the article. Dolph, last question. I always ask this and you answered it a little bit earlier, but give me a couple sentences. Why do you love Loveland? Oh man, uh, just the, the sense of community, you know, how everybody comes together, especially, you know, at, here at the Loveland station, as you know, you know, we've got a lot of great neighbors and always helping each other out. All right, all right. what was the question? You love Loveland, <laughs> why? That's all we want to know here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, it's, I would say, you know, beyond just the, the sense of community and, and all, all that, you look at the, from here you can walk to, I think it counted like 15 different places, Crazy. you know, and then some, right? Yeah. So anything you want, there's great food down here, there's great beers, there's great, you know, atmosphere. Um, gosh, and you, you can get on this bike trail, go forever. Yep. You know, yep. Yeah, can, it's just a, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. I love that. Now, everybody, Dolph's Dogs, uh, the information is out there. He does have an Instagram. Is it at Dolph's Dogs? Is I that what it's? So. I think it is, at Dolph's Dogs. And for, uh, my friends yep. showed me how to put the code on there yep. and you can just scan it. And you have a Facebook too, he has a Facebook. Yep. So, in saying that, businesses, people, if you need somebody to cater, if you need somebody to hang out at one of your next events, call him. Oh, yeah. He's ready, he's ready for anything. You're ready to take the people <laughs> as long as he's available, but such a great idea. I mean, hot dogs, who doesn't love hot dogs? Except well, vegans like me. <laughs> Oh, Maybe I a got, vegan dog? I, I carry vegan dogs too. See, there you go, guys. Yeah, yeah. He just was like, Cassie, I want her to come by sometime, so like, right. let's get vegan dogs, you know? <laughs> well, some, several people have asked me that. Oh, I love that. And, and so now I, I don't, they'll, they'll overcook real easy. Yep. So I, I only drop them in when somebody asks me that. Right, right. So, but I always have them. Yes. So they have vegan dogs too, guys. So come out, support. He all, he'll be at Cindy's, he'll be at the Eagles, and if you want to hire him for one of your next events, business or person, doesn't matter, let him know. Thank you so much, Dolph. Thank You're you, a legend. Chris. Oh, shoot. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. Good luck with everything, and uh, go ahead and say goodbye to Loveland. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Loveland. Thank you, Cassie, David, everybody. Really appreciate the support. Come on down, get a hot dog! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> see you later, Loveland. We'll see you. Now we're cooking with gas.
Yes, we are. <laughs>